Okay, Coach T back from TackleTrading.com. We're going to do a scan here. We're going to use the Fundamental tab. The, the Fundamental tab at Finviz is actually very helpful when you're looking for things like covered calls, um, you know, naked put candidates, uh, growth and stuff, things that you're going to hold on to for any kind of position style trade or longer. Uh, not necessarily uh, very applicable to a swing trade. The relationship of technicals and fundamentals just depends on the time you're in. Obviously, I mean, think about two radical examples. If you had to buy a company and hold it forever, well, the fundamentals, the the actual the way the company runs and that would be the most important factor. Uh, if you were only going to buy and sell a company within the, a 10-minute window, well, then the fundamentals don't mean anything. So somewhere in between those two, two extremes lies your you know focus on fundamentals how long are you going to hold it the longer you're in anything the more it's going to matter let's talk about a few basics in fundamentals um, there are pretty classic measurements like PE ratio and you know price to cash debt to equity things like that you can look at peg ratios forward PE ratios most of fundamentals is going to come down to earnings okay cost and earnings how much does a company cost how much do they make now we can look at that in two ways. We can look backwards to look at earnings in the past or we can look forward to look at earnings in the future. Generally looking forward is the way that Wall Street and investors tend to think. Past performance does mean something but traders and investors they're always looking six months out. They're always looking a year out. They're looking to see that they that we're moving into an environment that's going to be favorable for that company. That being said some of the best ones you can click in here would be EPS growth so let's try to find a few of these. EPS growth next year. Let's make sure this is going to be positive. Mm -hmm. And you'll see if it, when it turns yellow, you know it's clicked. Let's see EPS growth the next five years. Let's make sure it's positive. Now we could put a percentage filter in there if we wanted to be really limiting, like you know over 10 percent or something like that you have to be careful about how how strict you are because then you might over filter why don't we make it 10 percent and 10 percent so it's growing and growing uh, EPS uh, quarter over quarter let's make that one positive down to 870 now remember when you're running fundamental and technical based filters it doesn't mean that you shouldn't have started and done something in the descriptive tab you know, I'm going to put the minimum volume. We're going to only do 500k because we're going to have, we're going to go for a little smaller stock on this one. Yeah, if I can get it to work, 500k. And then we're going to do optionable because I want to look for a covered call. And smaller stock here, this price range. If you scroll all the way down, let's do 10 to 50. That's usually a good range for a covered call. Okay. All right. Now I'm always watching this number, 177. One good thing, even if you are doing mostly fundamentals, is to make sure that the stock is moving enough to make it worth your time. Having an ATR minimum, even if it's just 25 or 50 cents, will take some of those stocks out that aren't moving. So it just took out 40-something companies or 38 companies or something like that. Uh, let's go back to fundamentals. We'll make this one all fundamentals based. So good, strong EPS growth. Let's make sure return on equity. I was always told 15% by one of my mentors way back in the day. Uh, let's do debt to equity under one. And now, now we're down to 37. Okay, so I can work through 37. Let me kind of walk through it and look at some of these terms. PE ratio. Well, that's price divided by earnings. Price to cash. You may want to go through and read these if you're going to use any of them. Make sure you understand them. There's a lot of creative things you can do to help you find companies. Now, we had no technical filters on this one, so who knows what these charts are going to look like. We're going to have to hand pick them. Um, let's see. AR looks interesting. Put this one down. CBM looks interesting. Yeah. I've got an assistant in the office today. He's writing them down for me. All right, let's see. Hmm. I mean, some traders would, would look at maybe a compression pattern here, GameStop, and get interested, possibly. I think losing momentum there, I, I wouldn't necessarily be that interested. I think those two kind of stand out for me. Let's look at the second page. I feel like Paul Harvey, page two. Yeah. Loco, it looks interesting, developing uptrend after some real weakness last year, but it's gotten four or five months of strength there. 
Uh, NFX, old resistance, new support. Let's put that one down, NFX. Okay, SEIC. Mm, like the gap fill on URBN. Retail makes me cautious right now, though, so I'm going to skip that one. Yandex. YNDX. Why not? All right. Okay. And then you go about and you, you do the rest of your research. You know, that's kind of the whole point. It's one step at a time. Scan to get you a list. You know, then you go about working through that list and getting the data. Then you'll make a decision. Out of the four or five or six companies I just wrote down, I don't know if any of them will be good covered call trades. I have to run the numbers, okay? And I and I have a very specific process on how I do that. And uh, we'll do the, we'll teach you that too down the road uh, in one of these videos in tackle trading. Uh, thanks for uh, watching this and get in the game. Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.